Hello everybody, this is Ticket Place Games and today we'll be uh, talking about the hemp pack and the caucuses as well as the clarinet tow, which are three uh, two weapons which I missed on the machine one on the machine gun, one on the cabin section and the clarinet tow just to show off the gun itself. First I'm gonna start over with the clarinet tow. The clarinet tow is an unguided rocket launcher from the Steppenwolf faction, which is eleven hundred and seventy five power score. That's twelve ammo pieces. 154 points of structure, 5 energy drain, and 217 kilograms of mass. The special ability is that the missile can be controlled in flight using the A and D button. Basically, if you go in test drive, if you press the button, you'll get this camera where you can control the, mount, uh, the ground. You can press A and D to steer, and you have a max amount of time of 7 seconds to control the missile. The missile itself has a re reload time of around 9 seconds. So it's a pretty long reload, as you can see here, 7 seconds on the timer, and I can control stuff and shoot them, you know, freaking tree, oh well. And the damage is actually really, really high on this, gonna exp for example show you off on this thing. This thing has 1250 health, and it's one shots, because it directly hits the cabin, the ca uh, this gun seems to get some like critical damage on if you hit a cabin, so that's pretty nice. Because of a pretty low fire rate, you do not really need any extra ammo on this thing. You just need to be able to aim properly and just make sure you hit your target like, like that. Also, if you are in flight and run firing, you can press the left mouse button, the, uh, in this case left, mo left mouse button, but it will change if you, for example, place the gun on the right mouse button, it will be the right mouse. But if you press it and you will press the button, it's, you'll look like this and you cannot control it anymore. Also, I do want to watch out because if, for example, if you hit something like this, uh, not in this case not, but if you can hit something steep like that or if you hit some kind of wall or whatever or something that immediately goes pretty steep, for example this part right there, it, the missile will explode. The same will happen if you go from a high point and it will fall down. You have a pretty high chance of having it explode that way. So I'm gonna take a look if I can show it like this. See it, as you can see it just exploded because it hit the ground. That's the downside of the tow missile, but the tow missile can be a pretty powerful weapon because if you get take a look I spawn all the way over there and I could I literally could hit my the own starter the rig uh, that was standing right there from all the way over here. I will be safe, but the targets all the way across the half of the map they will be not. And also if you get skilled, which I'm not really if you got some skill, you can fire in between stuff like this from range, or you can just pop your spark yourself right here and just shoot that way. Alright, anyway, that is the tool. Clar the current tool. Next up is the Caucasus machine gun. The Caucasus machine gun is an automatic uh, machine gun tower. Which works similar to the machine gun function uh, function of a uh, Leviathan. It will automatically fire. You will not have to do anything, and it has a similar power to something like a Factor. It's not, so it's not that great. However, you, it's something which I would say for the lazy man's guy. For example, if you play build something like this, start out with one frame. Gorilla cabin. It's another small frame. So um, small steering wheels. Like so and then put on the caucuses like this. You only have 1280 power score. However, you do have this pretty powerful gun, and you do not even have to control it on your own. You can just drive up to people and have it fire automatically at the enemy. In this case, it has like zero health, only 130 health is so low, you pretty much instantly die, but you can put some armor on this, small radar to increase the 
uh, firing range of this gun because this gun is affected by stuff like radar. So if you go, I can put it on radar. And it immediately start firing all the way from here. Well, at the well, go in, I had to move all the way up there before it started firing. You can see. Well, this basically this works in the exact same way as the Leviathan's gun. Quickly build a small Leviathan. Hold on, hey. Gun like this. Except the same way as the Leviathan's gun. However, Leviathan is a little bit worse than in the, the system of the Caucasus because the Caucasus cannot overheat. It has perfect accuracy and it has pretty good, uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good fire rate and damage. So it's it's a good weapon for if you want to def have some one or something defend you while using your clarinet or your mandrake or if you just want to grind pvp while watching some youtube videos or something this is something you would want anyway on to the humpback the humpback is the end game cabin which it has 12 energy combined with the uh, with the gas generator, it has the highest possible energy output of all vehicles, which is 15. And oop, this is the 5 in. Can do it in here. Anyway, having 15 energy means you can put the largest amounts of weapon loadouts combination combinations as possible. Ranging for from some example like a triple cannon. In this case, I'm using 57 millimeter guns, but you can you can use 88 millimeter guns if you want to. In this case is probably one shot, but see, one shot. <laughs> triple cannons can be pretty powerful. You can also also use like a uh, combination of these crickets, which are really powerful, and you got the third gun. This is not really that amazing because the Runner Recall of the ca uh, cannon does make it a little bit weird. I got a good example of having something extremely powerful, which is the my monolith, which is my uh, invasion rig. I use the gas generator up here together with an ammo pack for my crickets, as well as a light engine because I could place one because there is no energy and it of course gives me a tiny bit a bit of extra acceleration. Also I have this radio protector right here to increase the range of my caucuses and able to see the range of everything. If you're wondering I use the improved radars to increase my power score uh, uh, by hand to 11,000 so I can earn more copper in my invasions. And the caucus is right here covers me automatically from like small AIs without me having to worry about them and I can just focus on the Leviathans with my crickets. The tower right here is as explained in the evasion rates so I can cover my own uh, my, uh, cover my weapons because they will focus on the actual cabin and not on the turret guns. Well the right here I got all my frontal armor. Also got a lot of radios on there because there's also they're also pretty high power score and using only a proof radios is rather expensive because they're already 50 apiece so these are 100, 200, and 300 coins right here just for these six little radars. Uh, but yeah, I use four tracks. It's a pretty stable system. So this is basically an example of a good invasion build right here. Also, I want to explain the system behind the uh, uh, way of the special ability of the. Uh, Aim time of the humpback. Aim time is basically what you get if your gun, if you have a gun like this. You see, it's perfectly accurate, but it gets decreased in accuracy when you move. When you stop, the accuracy goes almost instantly right there. Well, if I had a different cabin, like 
Um, that doesn't fit. accuracy and stop and it takes a little bit longer and it takes twice as long to actually have the their accuracy decrease. That's the basically the special ability of the uh, humpback. So the humpback does have a niche a little bit to it but it doesn't really affect the bolts too much. Which is a bummer but <laughs> It, I guess it works, and it helps you aim with something like the big cannons. Anyway, that was the, and that concludes this little episode. It's not really that much, but I wanted to do these a little bit so I could make uh, get my uh, these three out of the line, so the people do not ask about the missing Caucasus machine gun and the missing humpback cabin for my machine gun and my cabin guide. And I just wanted to go to uh, get used to uh, clearing the toe along the way. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was the Capitalist Games, and see you all next time. Bye bye.